today is a very exciting day, even though I'm very late. Today is a very exciting day because today is the first day that I'm trying out my new camera setup. If you're unsure what I'm talking about, check out my previous videos about it. Um, so, to summarize it for you, I'm trying out my new camera. And, once again, changing systems. But it's not as drastic as it was when I changed my vlogging camera. Um, I'm changing systems from Nikon F to Nikon Z mount. And, yeah, it's really just consolidating everything into one system that is really future-proof and yeah I think it's going to be awesome going forward and the new camera is the Z7 II and I have two lenses two new lenses for it as well and that is the 14 to 30 millimeter wide-angle lens and the 24 to 200 super zoom lens which is really the lens that I'm most excited about since it's really pushing a lot of excellent performance into a small compact package and that's what I'm gonna try today so not so much an adventure vlog but more a testing and lots of photography hopefully anyway let's get up into the heights and see if we can find anything. some images I want to try the new system and um, yeah let's get going something here with the light rays that we're getting from the sun so I'm gonna have to hurry a bit and grab that shot and I'd say it's a bit of an experimental image yeah let's see used to the camera but I can see a few images um, zooming in a little bit more into the landscape and that is something that I haven't really carried so it's something that is great to try out right now also it might be a good wide angle shot to get as well I'm just gonna quickly try to get everything and then I'll report back to you when I have something more to say So, first impressions, and keep in mind where I'm coming from. 
I'm upgrading to a Z72 as I said from a Nikon D600 so it's a huge upgrade for me and one of the first things that I'm noticing or that I noticed is just the clarity of both the viewfinder and the display and I especially like it on the back display here it's much easier to determine that things actually are in focus than it was compared to my D600 where I always had a bit of a struggle in certain conditions to even know if the scene was in proper focus or not because the back display was just not that sharp. This display solves that problem big time so that is excellent. Um, another thing that I've really noticed is speed. The autofocus moving from a DSLR with just contrast based autofocus to uh, a camera with face detect autofocus even for landscape photography I mean it it's so much quicker I can when doing focus stacks and uh, or when focus bracketing and you don't want the it's a little or let's take it from the beginning when focus bracketing and it is a bit of wind so the trees are moving a little bit speed is kind of imperative or even a better example is that the clouds are moving then you don't want the clouds to move too much before you take the next frame since you want to be able to blend everything so um, then bracketing that or having the speed of the autofocus just snap on at once without hunting or perhaps failing is also very nice but yeah, so far I'm really liking it. Um, the 20, 24 to 200 lens uh, uh, seems to be a pleasure to work with, so far at least. Uh, I've taken a couple of images as well. I'm going to cycle through some of the images that I've taken. Most of them are just experimental test images to try out the cameras. So I've taken a couple of handheld shots as well just to try out the stabilization and everything see how it works it seems to be really stable so it's gonna be interesting to see how that works still a tripod guy so i'm gonna continue to shoot with the tripod since i like that workflow it slows me down and makes it more more thought through composition than when i'm doing it handheld also that i can really work with the focus and everything and make sure that everything is correct but yeah first impression so far i'm really enjoying this camera i tried with the wide angle as well uh, let me just grab it so the 14 to 30 here and also i bought a new filter system uh, case filter system magnetic system and yeah that works a treat so much quicker than having to screw in yeah i wish i purchased that before but yeah i knew i wanted to upgrade eventually so i was kind of saving it for this but anyway um yeah i'm really liking it so far but we're gonna continue photographing throughout the day now i'm gonna i'm having the hold oh wait A flock of birds is approaching in the sky. That could be really interesting. You know you're a landscape photographer when you're trying to photograph birds and you have the exposure delay on. So they're like out of the frame for you to take the image. Moving subjects, not my <laughs> not my area of expertise. Uh, anyway. As I said, I'm going to continue photographing throughout the day. I have the whole day to spend out here. And I'm going to test this camera out the best I can. Uh, yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, make sure to subscribe share this video please
share it with anyone who might find it interesting. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure to check out my adventure videos as well as my behind the composition videos. Both are excellent. And well, that's it. So until next time, goodbye.